We're designing spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. Here in Designing Spaces, we take a look at all aspects of your home and property, including lifestyle. Today, we focus on creating your backyard oasis. Ooh, that's right. We look at patio furniture, get landscaping ideas, and see how we can create attractive, safe, and functional decks. You will be inspired. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Now, during the summer, the backyard can become a social meeting place for family and friends. So why not hold those barbecues and friendly lounge chair get-togethers on a deck? There are a lot of options when creating a deck, so Designing Spaces decided to show you the best. In fact, here's Jody Darren reporting from the backyard. <laughs> creating a new deck for your property is always an exciting prospect. There are so many styles and sizes to choose from. It becomes a question of what you desire for your budget. Not all decks are made from the same material or same manufacturing process. Of course you think, yes they are. Well, not so fast. There are alternatives, better alternatives. Designing Spaces decided to visit a home where a new deck is going in, using an alternative material. This is Matt, and he's been living in this house for over 12 years, and he's ready for a new deck for his tiki hut. We, uh have a lot of entertaining in our tiki hut down on the beach in the back of the house and this is a very exciting place to entertain. We do a lot of it and everybody's looking forward to it. In fact, they're coming tonight. Now, as you can see behind me, there is already a feature here, this great tiki hut. But to expand this outdoor living space, they're putting in a deck. So the materials are here, the contractors are hard at work, and they're putting together this beautiful new deck. We decided to get a new deck because our old one was getting pretty wobbly. I decided to go with this type of material because it looks just like wood, and it's uh, very easy to install, and it's very low ease of maintenance. This is Alex Hines with Tamco Building Products. It looks like a quality lumber he's inspecting, but it's actually something different. Well, Matt's going to be real happy with his new outdoor space. We think so. Yeah, well, tell us a little bit about the product that we're using today. Sure, this is Tamco's newest addition to low-maintenance decking. It's the only composite deck board utilizing compression molding technology. And when compared to wood, it takes deck performance to a whole new level. Okay, Alex, what is that compression molding technology then? This is exclusive to Evergreen and Vision. And what we do is we take sawdust, plastic, color inhibitors, and compress them under tremendous heat and pressure. The compressive force applied helps to squeeze out air pockets and creates a dense board with outstanding strength. Well, the benefits are basically, you got to remember, wood, you have to stain it and treat it year over year. So this is a low-maintenance option. What we do is we compress it so it has an added layer of protection, but not only that, it's got to look like wood. So we use multiple grain patterns, which creates that natural wood look, and multiple color options that are textured to look like that. Among the benefits of Evergreen Envision's exclusive compression manufacturing process is a more dense board that features lower water absorption than wood. So we're going to see how this project comes together using... Evergreen and Vision. Okay, good. And can anyone use this product? Is it is it easy to work with? It really is. It works and cuts just like real wood. There's really no special tools required or needed. Unlike real wood, Evergreen and Vision has less warping, splitting, and cracking. Evergreen and Vision's consistent, and so it's very easy to work with. Great. Well, let's get to work. Great. Well, by nature, wood is porous, and it will take in water. So what happens if it takes in water is it could crack, it could split, even in the end, rot. Right. So what should a homeowner use when they want a durable deck material? Well, there are a lot of alternatives out there. But at Tamco, we believe a better manufacturing process makes for a better deck port. Our deck is coming together without a hitch. Let's check out some of the techniques used. This is actually a hidden fastening system. So if a homeowner doesn't want to see the screws protruding in the top, we have an option for them. This is called EG1. 
one, two, three. It's designed exclusively for evergreen composite decking, and it gives that clean, uninterrupted surface. Is it easy to install? It's actually quite simple. You want to give it a shot? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, Alexa, show us how this works. Okay, not a problem. Well, Matt has chosen to use a hidden fastening system for his project. What that does is it allows for a nice, clean, uninterrupted surface. So what we'll do is we'll take this clip, we'll come over here mm -hmm. and position it in line with the joist. What we'll do also is position one on to the offside of it. So when we flip it over, it goes underneath the leading edge of the board. Okay. Okay. You want to give it a shot? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Once the fasteners are attached, the deck board is flipped over. Then it's positioned so the fasteners can slide beneath the lead edge of the previous board. Ooh. Now is it me or is this a little heavier? You know what, it is a little heavier when compared to, it's actually much more dense than wood. So by nature, uh, it, it allows for low water absorption compared to wood. So by nature, it is gonna be, feel a little bit heavier. Okay, now do we have to use these fasteners? And you know what, you don't have to. There's actually a product we have that's called Evergreen Envision Composite Screws. Evergreen Envision screws do not require special tools and are colored to match Evergreen Envision composite deck boards. They go down quickly and don't mushroom like other fasteners can. We'll just attach this last fastener. Okay. Okay. We'll just position it right over the joist and drive it through. Perfect. Let's hand it over to the guys. Okay, sounds good. Okay. After some finishing saw cuts and prepping the outside joist for the last board attachment, the deck is completed. So Jody, now that everything's in place, what do you think? Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this. Absolutely amazing. Now tell me about the maintenance. How do we keep it looking that way? Well, every outdoor living space needs clean periodically. Right. Uh, and what Tamco recommends is a semi-annual cleaning just to knock the dust and grime off. And really, that can be done with a garden hose. Evergreen Envision's bonded outer layer resists staining by certain common foods and beverages, such as mustard, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and canola oil. I'll tell you what. Why don't we give it a test? Okay, sounds good. All right. So what we have is mustard. Yep. I'll put a little mustard on here. Okay. Mustard, ketchup, barbecue yeah, sauce. Yeah, oh, wow. just wipe it off and yeah. then dry it on the back side there. Absolutely clean. And that neat? Look at that. Amazing. It just wipes right off. No need to worry. Well, it sounds like party time to me. Alex, where can we go to find out more information? Oh, absolutely. If you go to evergreen.com, you can find out about all the different colors we have available and learn more about it. And if you're a do-it-yourself type, you're going to love checking out the site. Excellent. Alex, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. All that's left is to sweep and furnish this beautiful deck, and we're ready to entertain. Well, Matt, this is a beautiful space you created. What do you think? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's way more than we ever thought it would be, and we're not tripping over any screw heads, nails, or anything else. It's phenomenal. Exactly. It looks beautiful, and this is the finishing touch that it needed. Just in time to watch a beautiful sunset. We've got everyone here. We're enjoying some drinks and some food, and it's time to celebrate. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Hey. If you'd like to learn more about the Evergreen and Vision, you can visit our website, designingspaces.tv, for both a link to their website and also you can watch this segment of the show again. For Designing Spaces, I'm Jody Darren. See you soon. Some of those backyards were so inviting. I know, a place to kick back. You got the cool evening breeze, the barbecue. Ooh, come friends. back, David, come back. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, just to end the show? Yeah, I know, we're out of time. We have to go, but we'll see you next time on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. Bye for now. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. Mm -hmm.